I was always interested in minority health and health disparities, and I actually explicitly applied to this program because I knew the National Institute of Minority Health and Health Disparities existed. Minority health and health disparities uh, research are something that I've been involved with pretty much my whole academic life. Um, I, it's something that I'm very interested in, very uh, personally invested in. In my medical school experience, I've had the um, fortunate, fortunate experience of being in a leadership position in a free clinic in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And these patients are really those that are most vulnerable to social determinants of health and um, health disparities. A majority of our clinic population is Hispanic, and it's been a really wonderful experience for me um, to be able to link those patient experiences that I've seen in clinic with the research that I've been doing here at NIH. So I came into this year already knowing that I was interested in public health, and one such aspect of that is research. But definitely doing this year has confirmed that research, I want that to be a significant part of my career. Um, it's definitely doable, it's interesting, and it can be part of my clinical experience as well. Well, my time here has really helped me find my niche within the research world. I'm interested in going into surgery, and oftentimes balancing surgery with research is very difficult. Um, but what this year has taught me is that there's a role for the clinician to help guide the direction that laboratory research uh, moves in, uh, and that is a more clinically viable you know, approach to the way we solve problems. This year I've been working with Dr. Tiffany Powell Wiley as well as Dr. Perez Stabler and Dr. Eric Rodriguez. And all of them have been very, really supportive mentors. I think what struck me the most was the autonomy they gave me to pursue my interests and to really um, expand my knowledge of different statistical methods and research methods, but always being there to support me, to fill in any gaps in my knowledge, and to guide me throughout all of those research endeavors. One of my mentors is Dr. Kelvin Choi, and he has been fantastic from beginning to end. Uh, this year wouldn't have been possible without him. I've also worked with Dr. Eliseo perez Davale and Eric Rodriguez, and they have also been fantastic, helping me formulate some other questions on different types of research, more uh, applicable to perhaps to minority health uh, specifically. With uh, not only Dr. perez Davale, but also with Dr. Tom Burklo, who's the director of the MRSP, we discussed bringing in uh, another organization that I'm a part of, the Latino Medical Student Association, um, the director of the Northeast Region, and we discussed linking the uh, LMSA with the NIH and helping recruit the next generation of uh, Latino researchers and sort of helping further the cause of uh, minority health and uh, health disparities work that the NIMHD does. This year has truly been a phenomenal experience. Um, I would recommend it to any medical, dental, or veterinary student. Um, and I'm very thankful to have the support that I've had from the mentors I've encountered here.